What up team, welcome to the video. It is the morning, I'm fasted. I'm about to eat a pre-workout meal and then I'm gonna train in like 60 to 75 minutes. Um, but I wanna give you an update on my cut and I want to talk about an important concept for anyone beginning to track. Track calories, track macronutrients, track to make body composition progress, fat loss, muscle gain. Um, because I gotta increase my calories. I have been cutting for two and a half weeks and we did that weigh in where I was like 169.5, um, which was already several days, six days into my cut. Uh, so I would imagine like 174 would have been my depleted weight, 180 was my walking around scale weight. And this morning at 5'10 and a half, I weighed in at 159 and a half. So it's just like, I'm, I'm very, very lean. I'll, I'll do a little bathroom thing and drop it here or something. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm losing scale weight faster than I want to. Um, even though I've only had one real hunger issue where I gave in and went to Dunkin' Donuts and went like 25 over fat and 65 over carb one day. But other than that, like no all out binges, I'm, I'm good. But it's still like, the scale's just going down too fast. I'm losing a little bit of muscle, which I'm okay with. Regaining muscle is so much easier than building it for the first time. So a lot of people have asked me like on Snapchat in various places, um, aren't you concerned about losing muscle? Like, no, not really. Because the purpose is be at a weight where I can water cut for a fight if I want to, and two, summer shreds, like a lot of trips, Mexico, Las Vegas, like a lot of things went on this summer and I haven't been like diced, diced, diced up in a while, so that's where we're going. But enough about me, I wanna talk about the relevant um, takeaway here for you guys, which is initially calculating intake is just a starting point. Assessing progress and being honest with yourself about assessing adherence are so much more important for knowing how much you should be eating to accomplish your goal. And it's not just the progress side of things. Like the being honest about adherence is just as important. Like in the productivity video, me talking about being honest with myself about how long it takes me to do something. I notice like people who struggle to be 100% honest with themselves with sneaking a bite of this, having this little snack, oh, this won't really add up, basically not tracking everything. And uh, it's just, it's gonna hurt your progress. But what it's also gonna do is not allow you to accurately know how much you should be eating. If you think on 1700 every single day, never miss and like the scale's just not moving. It's like, okay, well maybe we're gonna have to adjust calories down, but are you actually, actually, actually on 1700 every single day? And, and that's like a question that you need to ask yourself and like be super honest with yourself about because it's your results that will either take off as a result of that or suffer. Um, but of all the amazing calculators out there to predict total daily energy expenditure or calorie maintenance, how many calories you should consume on average to maintain your weight, none of them are as good as I'm gonna start around here and then I'm gonna accurately track how much I'm eating and I'm gonna accurately track progress over time and see what happens and adjust based on that. And that's what's happening to me right now is luckily <laughs> at 2450-ish calories, I undershot um, how much I should be eating. So I'm bringing my carbs up 50 grams and I'm bringing my fats up like two to three grams for, uh, for a 200 and change calorie increase. And I think I'll still lean out on that intake right now. Um, yeah, I don't have an end to end goal weight, uh, more to see how I feel, how long I can stand this. I'm not gonna have to go until the end of May. I already know because I'm, I'm in striking distance, but I am gonna stay dialed till the end of May. So if say May 15th, I'm like, okay, cuts over, 
I'm going to stay dialed for the next two weeks on a reverse diet and continue to document and talk about that. So that's my game plan. Um, yeah, just assess progress accurately and, uh, or assess adherence accurately and pay attention to progress and make adjustments based on, on those things. And like I've discussed before, it is pretty absurd how much food I'm cutting on right now, but I also haven't done a real, real cut in uh, a couple years, which allows my TDE to be about as high as it can be based on whatever adaptive components of metabolism may or may not exist anecdotally probably exist to a, to a small degree. Uh, and then add in that I'm doing two a days, daily cardio, strength training, walking all over New York City, and uh, probably, not probably, like based on my stats, have a slight, um, whatever, genetic uh, increase in metabolic rate, probably via, uh, probably via non-exercise activity thermogenesis, meaning fidgeting. Like when I'm bulking, the fact that I struggle to gain weight, that body type is really, I'm eating more calories, I catch myself moving all over the place. I catch myself saying, I don't need to take a cab, it's only a 45 minute walk, I'll just go. And then like bouncing off the walls on the street on the way there, like that. All right, I'm gonna go film uh, a physique, a fasted, flat, non-pump physique update. Maybe at the end of the video, I'll throw a post-workout physique update too. But that's where we're at. Leave me a comment if you wanna say what's up. Please hit the like button. See you soon.